Hey everybody, let's talk about comments. So I've been doing these videos for absolute beginners in C, and I just realized that I mentioned in my very first one, I mentioned comments, but I haven't really addressed comments and it's kind of important. So today I just wanted to make a very short video to talk about comments. Every programming language has comments. Comments are basically things that you write in your program that aren't code, like the machine is going to ignore them, but they're there for other people reading the code to help them understand what you're doing. Comments can be super helpful in making your code readable, and I just wanna show you how to add comments in your code in C. So really simply, there's not much to it. Anytime you put two forward slashes on a line, everything after those two forward slashes is going to be commented out. So in my editor, you can see it kind of grays it out, and that's just a visual hint that this is a comment. I can also create comments that span multiple lines, and I do that by putting a forward slash and an asterisk, and then I end it with an asterisk and a forward slash. So everything between these two bookends becomes a comment, and it can be as long as I want. So this is useful for really big comments when one line just isn't gonna be enough. But that's really all there is to comments. I hope though that that helps some of the example programs you look at make more sense so you know what those comments are. I also hope you'll get in the habit of commenting your code. Commenting is a little bit of an art. The idea is that you're gonna add comments to places in the code that might not be obvious to somebody that's reading your code, someone that's not you. The goal is to, add, the goal is to increase readability and make the code easier to understand. If you find that you need a lot of comments, you might wanna actually look at how to make your code a little easier to follow by itself. A useful trick you'll also see people do is they'll also comment out code. When you're playing around with something and you don't wanna just delete a line, but you think you don't need it, you might temporarily comment it out just to see how things work with that code gone or with that code written in a slightly different way. And this makes it really easy to just add it back in if removing it was a mistake. Now, having shown you that, I wanna make it really clear that you don't ever want to leave commented code in your programs. And the reason is, is that somewhere down the line, you or somebody else is gonna be reading through this code and you're gonna see this commented out line and you're gonna say, why is this here? And, and they're not gonna know or you're not gonna know. You have no idea why this thing is here and you're gonna waste a lot of time. So in the long term, code should either be left alive or removed entirely. Don't leave commented code in your programs. The other thing I wanna mention about comments is simply that comments are a part of your code and you need to maintain them just like you maintain your code. When you change your code, you need to update the comments that describe how that code works. And if you don't, your code just became really confusing to someone that's reading it. And bad comments can often be worse than having no comments at all. So as you're writing programs, make sure to maintain your comments as well as your code. And that's all I have for you today. Just some quick commentary on comments. And until next time, I'll see you later.